This video will provide a quick overview of our Apex Change App PDF Generator. First step is to configure PDF templates. Once application is installed from App Exchange, first step is to design PDF template. Sample pre-configured templates are provided for different objects as part of app installation. You can use one of these templates or create one from scratch. Template can be designed for any standard or custom object present in your org. You can select object API name from this list or can search by typing. Template can be designed and tested in draft mode. Activate it for end users once design is completed. You can customize the name of the PDF generated for end user using this field. You can have static name, or can insert merge fields, using this field picker, to dynamically populate the details from the record. If this field is blank, PDF name will default to name of the record. PDF size, and orientation can be configured using this pick list. Left and right margins can be changed using these options. Page number format can be customized using this pick list. Values of X and Y will be replaced with numbers. Date formats can be configured for date type fields. If no format chosen, it will consider MM, DD, YYYY, date format. If you are using date time field, time format can be chosen using this field. Default background color for entire document is white, but can be changed using this color picker. If a header is required, which will be repeated on top of the each page of the PDF, it needs to be defined under header tab. Rich text editor has been provided to allow content formatting and custom styling. For better alignment of the content, we recommend using tables. Images can be inserted from a public URL or local drive using this option. Content can be formatted using these text formatting and alignment options. In order to pull data from Salesforce, we need to use merge fields, which can be inserted into the editor using field picker. Any standard or custom field can be inserted from the object PDF is designed for or from object related to it. For example, if template is designed for opportunity, and opportunity is having a lookup field for account, so fields from accounts can be inserted. If PDF created date is needed, it can be inserted using today button. Please note, dot date function is appended for any date type field, which will print the date in the format selected in first tab. Horizontal line can be inserted, using this icon. Title section is used to design contents to be shown below header. As discussed earlier, for better formatting of the content, tables are recommended. Background color of the table cells can be changed from cell properties. For accommodating large content, multiple rich text fields have been provided, and contents in these editors are shown in continuation. Related lists are shown as tables in the PDF, using tables and columns feature. Table rows background colors, border color, font size, and family of the table content and table cell padding can be defined, using these options which are applicable to all tables. Each record here is displayed as a new table. In this example, opportunity products will be shown as tables. Related list items can be grouped in different tables, using formula which supports any field from the related list, or object, related to it. For example, in this case, opportunity products will be shown as different tables, based on matching criteria for product family because opportunity product is having a lookup relation with product. There are additional configurations available, like table can be shown in the new page always. Table header can be hidden, or if it's shown, custom style and alignment can be applied. Additional info is used to show additional content, associated to this table. If formula field is blank, it will show all related list items in the table. Tables can be configured for related lists, for custom objects as well. Using clone feature, table can be copied with all configurations. In order for table to render in PDF, table columns need to be defined, which will pull related list field values. For example, in this case, columns have been defined to pull information from opportunity product, as well as product, because opportunity product has a lookup relationship with product object. Let's check additional configurations for the column. Column header style and alignment can be controlled using these fields. Column background color, rows text alignment, and color can be customized using these fields. Column values can be aggregated at table footer, using this option, and custom style can be defined for that as well. 
Columns can be ordered using drag drop option. Column width can be specified as per the length of the column content, and items inside the table can also be grouped based on a column. After the tables, you may display aggregate values like total price, shipping, and handling charges, tax or discount. Custom style can be applied to these fields as well. For showing content after all PDF tables and aggregate values, Terms and Conditions section is used. For showing content in new page, page break keyword needs to be inserted using this button, and all the content after this keyword will start from new page. In order to accommodate large content, multiple rich text fields have been provided. Last section is footer, which should be used to show footer at the bottom of every page. For showing page number, page number keyword is inserted using this button, and it's displayed in the format chosen in first section, with X and Y, replaced with numbers. PDF design can be previewed, using preview option, by selecting any record from the object, PDF template is designed for. As per the design, PDF is showing header and title with values populated for merge fields. After title, tables and columns are populated from related list items, that is opportunity products in this case with custom style and column level aggregation. Items are grouped in different tables as per the conditions defined in the formula field of PDF tables. Overall aggregate values are shown after all the tables, as defined under aggregate tab. Page break has been applied for the content to be shown after tables and aggregates, so it will start with new page. Footer is shown at the bottom of all the pages, with page number, populated as per the format selected. Please note, all these sections are optional and should be configured based on the requirement. For example, if header is not needed, it can be blank, or if related list items are not required to be shown as tables, no need to configure tables and columns. Template can be copied quickly using clone template feature, which retains all configurations in the new template. Please note, this feature utilizes our other app exchange app, named iClone, which provides capability to clone related list items along with header for any standard or custom objects. It's provided for template cloning for free, as part of this app. Once template is designed and activated, it will be available for end users to create PDFs, save it to the record, send as email attachment, or send for e-signature. First step is to add recipients for receiving PDFs as email attachment, or for e-signature. Any contact, user, or lead can be added as recipients manually by the end user, or, it can be automated. For creating and emailing the PDF, end user will use create PDF and email action, which will redirect to PDF preview screen. If there is one template, it will be selected by default, and in case of multiple templates, user will select the appropriate template, which shows the preview. PDF can be saved and emailed using these options. In email screen, to field, is populated with the recipient selected as primary. CC and BCC fields are populated based on the configuration for recipients. Subject and email fields can be populated with predefined content for respective object under PDF settings. Merge fields can also be used. Content from email templates can be inserted using this button. Generated PDF is attached by default. It uses standard Salesforce email functionality, and once email is sent, it is logged under activity history. For all objects, Generated PDFs are stored under Files and Notes and Attachment related lists. Name of the PDF stored under Files and Notes and Attachments is controlled by the configuration in PDF template. Optionally, PDFs generated through our apps, can be sent for e-signature, in the similar way it's sent as email attachment. DocuSign is the supported tool currently. Once e-signature has been integrated with your Salesforce org, PDFs will be sent for e-signature to the recipients and signature sequence can be configured as well. End user will click on Create PDF and e-signature action, which will show the PDF preview. Standard and custom tags can be defined anywhere in the PDF to capture details when it's signed. Email subject and body are pre-filled with merge fields similar to email screen, and recipients with signature sequence are shown. On click of Send, Recipients will receive the email notification from the e-signature tool with link to review, e-sign, and fill in custom information on the e-signature portal. E-signature status can be tracked, 
Under DocuSign Status Related List, which is provided as part of DocuSign application, signed document is stored under Files and Notes and Attachment Related Lists. PDFs can be created and emailed automatically as well which is a great productivity improvement feature. PDF rules need to be defined for the automation under PDF settings. Let's check one of the rules. Relevant object needs to be selected. Field name and value needs to be defined as criteria to trigger the PDF generation. PDF template needs to be selected, which will be used to generate the PDF. Optionally, generated PDF can be sent as email attachment to the recipients, if email template is selected. It can be tested by specifying internal email IDs. Please note that, email will not be sent to recipient if internal email ID is specified. If these checkboxes are enabled, email copy will be sent to logged in user along with recipients. Let's say this quote is in draft status. As soon as quote status is changed to presented manually, or through an automated process, PDF will be generated automatically, using the template defined in PDF rule, and will be stored under these related lists. As email template was selected in PDF rule, email with this PDF attached will be sent to this recipient. If multiple fields need to trigger the PDF generation, custom formula field needs to be built. API name of the formula field, needs to be used in field name, and formula output value, should be specified in field value. In the process of manual PDF creation, specific templates can be shown to the users using PDF rules, which is another great way to improve productivity of end user. For example, as per this rule, if quote status is set to presented, it should only show this template. Based on this rule, and filter template setting, if quote status is presented, which is matching the rule criteria, by default template will be selected which was configured in PDF rule. In some cases, information may need to be added to PDFs conditionally, like different terms and conditions, based on quote type. Information to be shown conditionally can be designed, using PDF attachment feature. On the record which will generate PDF, attachment record needs to be selected. On the template, if this keyword is placed, it will populate the content from that attachment record. This is how by changing the attachment selection in the record manually or through process builder, content can be shown conditionally. Please note, it is called PDF attachment, but files cannot be attached into the PDF using this feature. PDF generator is integrated with our other App Exchange app product bundle, and this feature is useful if you want to show bundle summary in the PDF table instead of individual line item details. Let's say for this quote, these line items are added as part of these two bundles. Even though these line items are added as individual items, it can be aggregated as bundles in PDF table in three different formats. One option is to show these bundles as separate tables with columns, having aggregation of line item details, and other columns, showing bundle level summary. Other option is to show these bundles, as different rows of single table with columns, having bundle name as a column aggregation of line item details, and bundle level summary. Third option is to show these bundles as separate columns of one table. To summarize, here are the key features of PDF Generator application. Design customized and branded PDFs for any standard or custom object. Configurable date formats, page numbers, and page breaks. Group related list items in relevant tables. Preview template design in draft mode. Email PDFs as attachment. Automate PDF generation and emailing using PDF rules. Send PDF for e-signature and track e-signature status Withing Salesforce. Configure contacts, users, or leads as PDF recipients for email and e-signature. Show specific template to end user using filter template feature. Customize PDF names for files and notes and attachment. Show bundle summary for bundles added using product bundle app. Generate PDFs in Salesforce supported languages. We offer free 15 days full feature trial. Visit our website for detailed documentation, pricing, or contact our support for any queries.